Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I'm back with I think a third video for for today. Uh, again, it's it's I want to do these quick, simple videos on um, things that you can implement. Uh, it, this is building off that day-night system. So I had a tutorial on a, a very simple day-night system using common events, and uh, these two events are are going to be about NPCs on a schedule and say uh, a shop, a business, a location. In this, in this instance, a temple that's on a schedule where you can only go there uh, and it's only open at a certain time. Um, and, you know, it's using the day-night system, very, very simple day-night system. And, you know, um, you know, hopefully this is this is helpful for people who are looking for something, you know, very, very specific. I want to keep these, um, these this simple series uh, just, just that the way it is. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, what this is doing first. We're going to have two events, and one is going to be an NPC, and one is going to be a temple. And so the NPC is not here on the map. The temple, if I try to go to the temple, it says, sorry, it's only open in the evening. And right now it's morning. So uh, I'm on a day, day night system here every 10 seconds. Now the NPC appeared, and if I go up and talk to him, uh, he says, I sleep late and forage for ingredients for my potions in the afternoon. And then he disappears because now it's evening, and he is gone, right? Now I'm going to go over here because it's evening, and I should be able to go to this temple, which I can. And then I go back. And again, the temple's here, and it may be morning now. Nope, it's still evening. So I go back, and while it's evening, that NPC is gone, and uh, I can still go into this temple. But as soon as it transfers to nighttime, which it should be doing, there we go. Now I can't go back to the temple because it's not evening, and this guy is no longer. He says, now, I think I might have seen you earlier today while I was gathering ingredients. Would you like to buy or sell a potion? Uh, I only conduct business at night, yes or no. Now, you notice he disappeared because my day-night system is on a 10-second interval. Um, if I say yes, then it'll go into, it'll go into the uh, buy option, right? Um, so, you know, with a, you know, now it's already, uh, it's already afternoon. So now he's back, uh, doing his, I sleep late and forage for ingredients, my, uh, for my potions in the afternoon. And he will disappear while you're talking to him. Uh, you know, if, if the, if the day night system is, is transferring that way. Now that might be something to keep in mind because maybe you don't want that to happen. Um, you know, e even if your day night system is really, really long, uh, imagine if you're sitting there talking to an NPC and the time switches and, you know, the, the day night system advances and all of a sudden the NPC that you're talking to is, is gone. And I mean, that would look that would look kind of strange. Um, so, you know, that might be something that you might have to, to think about and how to do something differently uh, with that schedule system. But right now I'm just going to show you the very, very, a very simplistic schedule system that's running off of four uh four times of the day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And so for the NPC, the first page is nothing. There's no contents, there's no sprite, uh, because there's there's no conditions, because the, the NPC in, in the morning time, and, and it's going to be morning, because I showed that previously in, in my game, the very first thing this map does is it, is it starts the common event for morning. So this NPC isn't going to be here. And then when the day-night system uh, moves forward to uh, it is afternoon and the afternoon switch is turned on, then the sprite appears. Uh, it is set to a custom movement, and basically the route is um, a square. So he's going to walk in a square slowly, um, repeatedly. And so it's just move down, turn right, move right, turn up, move up, turn left move left, turn down, and repeat movement. So he'll just keep moving in that square for however long the, the day-night system, uh, you know, the afternoon is. And then skip if cannot move, then that way he doesn't get stuck, right? So, um, so he's doing a custom route, and it's set to player touch. So because he's moving, the minute the player touches uh, this event, then it's going to trigger the contents, which is the text window that pops up and says, I sleep late and forage for uh, ingredients for my potions in the afternoon. So that explains why he's not there in the morning. It explains what he's doing in the afternoon, and he's not doing anything with you. He's just wandering around. 
Then when the day-night system advances and the, um, the switch for afternoon is turned off and the evening switch, it is evening, is turned on, then again, there's no contents, the sprite goes away because he's not there. On, on his schedule, he, he sleeps in the morning, he forages in the afternoon, and then in the evening, he's not there, right? He's, he's doing something else, and then he comes back at night. And so when the time, you know, when the day-night progression system turns off the evening and turns on it is night, then that's when the sprite reappears. Now he's going to be in a fixed location. He's just going to stay there, and uh, it's an action button, so the, the player will click on him, and then they, he does the text. When you activate him, I think I might have seen you earlier today while I was gathering ingredients. Would you like to buy or sell a potion? I only conduct business at night. So that's explaining why you know you, he's only doing this at nighttime. And then you have your show choices, yes or no, uh, when yes, then we just inserted shop processing. We put a, a few um, uh, items in there uh, for potions. You know, I could edit this uh, if I wanted to. Whoops, sorry, I have to edit it. Uh, I could edit this and then um, just uh, double click here and then just add, right, another one, magic water. And now uh, in standard price, not specify. Um, and he's just selling po items, so we're not doing weapons or armor. And, and that will just add it again. So now, now he sells magic water as well. Uh, and when no, then he's going to say, okay, well, maybe another night, and it's going to end. And if you select him, it's going to do the exact same thing uh, because I didn't do any of that fancy dialogue stuff that I did in my first seven videos. Uh, I just, you know, did this very, very simple. And then, of course, when night ends, right, and it's back to morning, it will, uh, it will, you know, turn off the it is night, and uh, morning is on. The the switch for morning is on, but it doesn't, it doesn't need to be here as a switch because this is just the um, the highest page where the conditions are met when these switches are turned off. So when those switches are turned off, then this page will be the default page, and it, there's nothing there. So that's how the the uh, the merchant or the NPC here works. So you could put your NPCs that that you wanted to on a system where you know uh, they they only appear at a certain time of day, and you're going to find them in the same spot or wandering the same area at a certain time of day, um, or you know a, a shop, right? So this is the, over here the temple. This was incredibly easy, right? So you could do the same thing with an inn, with a tavern, uh, with you know any type of shop uh, that you wanted, uh, houses if people are living at home. The the first page um, there's an empty image, right? Because actually the the map has what you want, and the event is on top of the map, so it doesn't need to have a, a, a an image. Uh, I set it to player touch, so when the player walks against it as if they were trying to enter it, it will trigger the text that says, sorry, this temple is only open in the evening. Um, if you wanted to, you could tell the player that, you know, it is morning now or it is, uh, you know, it is, uh, you know, uh, night now or whatever. You could do that if, if you wanted to. Uh, it would be pretty simple to do that you could, using... Um, conditional statements, right? Uh, for, you know, for instance, you could do uh, here, um, you know, conditional branch, and then if the switch, uh, right, um, we said it only opened in the, in the, uh, in the evening, so it, you could say conditional branch, if the switch it is morning is on, then we would do um, a text, right? And, uh, you know, we would do something like, um, it is morning now, right? And then what we would do is very simply, we would do that for all of them that, that are applicable. So we, we could copy this and we could paste this and then we could simply change this to uh, if afternoon is on. And then we would simply change this to it is afternoon now, right? And then you would do the same exact thing for um, e uh, night, right? Because uh, this, yeah, right, right, night. So if if it is night, okay, then we'll change this to be the appropriate. It is night now. Whoops, it is night now. And that's all you have to do. So because when um, when it's at, uh, when it's evening, it's going. It's you know. So first, it's going to be on this page. 
it's going to display this, sorry, the temple is only open in the evening. And then it's going to check. Uh, if this switch is on, it's going to say it is morning now. If this switch is on, it's going to say it is afternoon now. If this switch is on, it's going to say it is night now. And then it's going to end. So it's going to say one of these three things if it's on this page. And then um, when it's actually evening, when the evening switch is turned on, page two will be active, right? Because the condition is the switch, it is evening. And then um, I just put player touch here. The, the map is below characters, so you can essentially step on the temple and you will immediately be transferred to the temple exterior, okay? And that is just showing us where we're gonna land, right? On the temple exterior. And that's pretty much it. So since we made changes to that, let's just see if that temple, if that temple does what uh, I said it would. I hope it does. So here we go, it is morning. And sorry, this temple is only open in the evening, it is morning now. Okay, all right, we'll see what happens in the afternoon. And if you, there we go. All right, sorry, this temple is only open in the evening, it is afternoon now. And if I do it again, it's gonna do this, it's gonna say the same thing. And then it goes to evening, so I'll go ahead and transfer. We I transferred, and now I came back. So it didn't tell me anything, right? Because it moved to the other page. And now once it turns to night, the night option should work. And once it kicks in, there we go. And sorry, this temple's only in the open in the evening. It is night now. So it works perfectly fine, exactly um, the way it was designed. So, uh, so again, you, you can build on this. You can do whatever you want to. But uh, these are ways that you could have uh, businesses, shops, inns, taverns that are closed at certain times. So, you know, you can't enter, you can't do business with them. Um, and you can have NPCs that appear at different times, right? Um, and they do different things like that. So, um, you know, again, a schedule system. Now, you could make this much more complex. Uh, you could go into a lot of detail on this uh, and, you know, try to fine tune it and, of course, do a lot of different dialogue things. But these are two very simple ways using a day night system to have an NPC uh, on a schedule and to have like a business tavern in, you know, temple, whatever it is that you want to enter, a cave. You can only go into a cave at a certain time of day or something, right? Um, you could do that very, very easily by having your switches uh, based on your day-night system, however you're doing your time tracking, and um, that's what activates the, the, the portal, for instance, right? Or that's what tells the NPC to appear uh, and, and what gives them their options. All right, so anyway, I hope that's helpful, folks. Uh, I, I hope this was quick, but maybe not. Maybe it was longer than normal. Uh, but I did show you two things uh, on top of it to uh, use a day-night system and, uh, you know, two different things, NPCs on a schedule and some sort of, you know, business or building or something on a schedule. I hope this helps you. Again, if you just found this page, you know, please watch my other videos. If they're helpful, um, you know, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, uh, get notifications. And, you know, if there's something you want uh, to see, uh, leave a comment. And, and if I know how to do it, I'll be happy to do it and post a video. Uh, and if you know of other resources that are great, uh, please leave a comment and let, let everyone know so everybody will benefit. Uh, I'm making these videos to help new people like myself find what they're looking for. Uh, there's a lot of great tutorials out there, um, but, you know, sometimes you're looking for something very specific and sometimes it's hard to find a tutorial just for that. All right, so thank you again, folks. I'm glad you found me. Uh, happy uh, gaming, happy game development, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much.